Hello friends, in this video let us understand the why, what, how aspects of Kubernetes software conformance tests. Coming to why. Now in the recent times, we are seeing growing adoption for microservices based architectures. So there comes a need for orchestration tools for scheduling, scaling, monitoring, managing your containerized workloads and services. Kubernetes is one of the leading open source container orchestration platforms. With its wide scale adoption, there are many enterprise Kubernetes platform offerings in the market. Now these vendors enhance the open source Kubernetes version with added security, ease of management, enterprise support, etc. These offerings can be distributors or operators or hosted environments. Now for ease, I would be referring them as vendors in this video. To maintain consistency among these vendor specific Kubernetes platforms, the community with support of CNCF came up with a Kubernetes software conformance certification program. Any Kubernetes vendors which meets the Kubernetes specified standards are said to have certified Kubernetes offerings. So why is it needed to maintain consistency? Software conformance ensures that every vendor's version of the Kubernetes supports the required APIs as do the open source community versions. Now users want consistency when interacting with any installation of Kubernetes. So the conformance enables interoperability from one Kubernetes installation to the next. It gives organizations the flexibility to choose between vendors. Now there are also timely updates meaning to remain certified, vendors need to provide the latest version of Kubernetes yearly or more frequently so that you can ensure that you'll always have access to the latest features the community has been working hard. Conformability. Any end user can conform that the distribution or platform remains conformant by, run by running exactly the same open source conformance application that was used to certify. So what are these conformance tests? The Kubernetes conformance test suit is a subset of the end-to-end -end test to define the core set of interoperable features that all conformant Kubernetes clusters must support. These tests verify that the expected behavior work as a user might encounter. Now how does Kubernetes certify vendors? CNCF runs the certified Kubernetes cert conformance program. A standard set of conformance tests, currently those defined by the conformance tag in the end-to-end -end test suite are run by these vendors. Now any vendor can follow one of the below approaches to run these conformance tests. They can either run the complete end-to-end -end suite using Jingo or kubetest or run them using Sonoboy. So the vendors need to submit these test results for review and once they get approved they will be certified Kubernetes offerings. Now what is Sonoboy? It's a standard diagnostic tool for running the standard set of conformance tests to certify vendors. Now this tool makes it easier to understand the state of a Kubernetes cluster by running a set of plugins that's including Kubernetes conformance tests in an accessible and non-destructive manner. So it's completely customizable. We can extend it based on our needs and it's cluster agnostic. So it generates very informative reports about your cluster. So how does Sonoboy's release cycle work? Sonoboy is kept up to date to execute against all the currently supported versions of Kubernetes and Sonoboy releases are independent of Kubernetes release and the new releases work functionally across different Kubernetes versions. So now how often should I run these conformance tests? So basically certification is version and with each new version of Kubernetes new features get added and the architecture might change. So the certification requirements will change appropriately. Now we can see here in the conformance report that there are folders created for each release. So vendors can create pull requests with conformance test results targeted for a specific Kubernetes version. Now we don't want to get certified, but can we run these tests locally? 
yes this may be a case when you want to ensure that your application or platform remains conformant so we can very well run the sono boy application locally so the setup requirements uh, is something like to run the entire conformance test suite we would need a cluster with at least two nodes so sono boy itself creates a few resources in its namespace so for complete details you can follow instructions mentioned in the readme over here how long does the sono boy run take so the default timeout is 3 hours this can be changed by providing it as an argument uh, in the sono boy run command so successful runs may take around 1 hour or so a sono boy status command can be used to verify the same so overall all ga non optional features are included as part of these tests uh, some of them are crds config maps ingress api service endpoints with multiple ports replication controller service accounts daemon sets stateful sets pod life cycle secrets mounting garbage collection and many more some tests which are not part of the conformance tests are network policy pod security policy related vendor specific features or optional features or those which are dependent on the kubelet api and other deprecated features from a networking standpoint conformance test evaluates only the dns entries so from an application support point of view we need to ensure if we support the corresponding cni functionality there can be some failures based on this with that we come to an end thank you everyone hope you like this video and got a basic understanding of what the kubernetes conformance tests are and the process for the same thank you stay safe